Hi and welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. We're going to take a look at a sonatina by Thomas Atwood. Now it's a sonatina that is relatively famous in the field of educational piano stuff. It appears often on exam syllabuses. But in 2020, it would be very easy to criticise this kind of music. But can I put a case in support of it? First of all, who was Thomas Atwood? He was a guy who was absolutely at the top of his game at the time. So he travelled to Italy, studied there. He worked with Mozart. He was about 10 years younger than Mozart. Studied with Mozart, who thought very highly of him. Ended up back in London. He composed for the kings and queens. He composed for coronations. He composed for the funeral of Nelson. He worked in the royal court. He was the organist and responsible for the music at St Paul's Cathedral in the centre of London. And he died living in a house on Cheney Walk in Chelsea. So he was at the very top of his game at the time. And here he is giving us a sonatina. It's designed to show us things. It's an educational piece. And he was writing at a time where the old ways of complex music were a thing of the past. He's showing us how to write melodies, how to write melodies in a small register, how to use chords. For example, our very first movement that I'll play in a second has a tonic chord, a dominant chord. And he explores that for a little while and shows us how to write melodies over the top of that. And then he suggests we can also go to the relative minor and then our little sort of cadence back to G and he shows us all of that kind of thinking in these pieces. It's a sonatina so it's in three movements, three sections. I'm going to play all three of them. Generally sonatinas tend to be a fast one, a slow one and a fast one and that is what we find here. In the second movement, it's a minuet, so it's in triple time. He's showing us that music can also have a three to a beat feel. So whereas before it was da, 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 a beat divided into two, here we have a compound feel. The beat is subdivided into three. Da, da, And then our last movement is a rondo. It's lively, it's fast. A rondo is a very common structure. And the, the essence of a rondo being you have a, a main idea, something different. Main idea, something else different. Main idea, something else different. This is quite a short one, but that's, that's the idea of a rondo. And we have some repeats here. And the idea of a repeat is that when you do the repeat, you might change things up a bit. You might decorate things. 
Um, if you're playing for a, an exam, certainly in the UK, we tend not to do repeats. Um, but I'm going to play it with repeats now and see if you can spot the... Oh, he's, he's changed something there. It's a great little sonatina and uh, a really useful, I think, sort of zooming in on this style of music from which we can learn so much. Thank you for being with me. Take care. Bye-bye for now.